Hello. Well, this is a story that your mummy used to like when she was a little girl. I think she was about six years old, maybe, when she had this story. And it's called The Wonderful Pigs of Gillian Jiggs. Look at all those lovely little pigs. This is Gillian. These are all her little pigs. Well, this is a nice story, and it's written by Phoebe Gilman. That's her name. And this is this little book um, has been read by lots of children at my school, and they all loved it too. So now it's your turn to read it. And look, here we go. Here's Mum. That's a little. I think it's the little sister. And this is Gillian. She's a little bit messy, but she's funny. A long time ago, as you may recall, Gillian Jiggs never cleaned up at all. Gillian, Gillian, Gillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Oops, said her mummy. Look, here they are. Wow, what's happened in this picture? Mum looks happy. Do you think Gillian's done? Well, wonder of wonders, without any warning, Gillian cleaned up one Saturday morning. She made her room tidy and neat as a pin. Can this really be Gillian's room that I'm in? Mum is so happy. Look at her. She's thinking, wow. It was indeed tidy. Gillian smiled, then she looked all around. Now, where is that jar full of buttons I found? Look at these buttons, said Gillian Jiggs. Don't they look just like the noses of pigs? Can you see? Mm hmm. I wonder if you think they do. She's had a good idea. Look what she's doing. She's found something in her toy box. We'll make little pigs and then we'll set up a store. I'm sure we can sell at least 50 or more. We'll make lots of money. I'll be a, we'll be billionaires. Then mother can rest and forget all her cares. Ooh, so Gillian wants to make a shop. Once Gillian started... She zipped right along, turning out piggies while singing this song. Gillian, Gillian, Gillian Jiggs, maker of wonderful, marvellous pigs. Look what she's doing. Can you see how she's making them? With her needle and her thread. And she's cut up some old stockings and sewn on the little piggy button for their nose. And look, this is some fluffy stuffing that she puts inside to make them all cuddly and soft. Ooh, who are these ones? Look, these are the first ones she's made. The first little pig had a sweet, smiling face. The second she dressed up in old-fashioned lace. And then she... And she decided to give them both names. She called one Clarissa... And the other one, James. This must be Clarissa. This must be James. They sweet. Now what's she made? Oh, look how many. What a clever girl she is. The next little pig had a hat and a cane. His name was George and his girlfriend was Jane. Miranda had red cheeks and long dark eyelashes. McTavish was old and had drooping moustaches. Which one is a bit different, isn't it? Mm. What she's got here? A pirate. She made up a pirate pig, Blackberry Billy, to play with her princess pig, Lavender Lily. Can you see the princess? Mm, I think this might be the princess pig. That's Blackberry Billy the pirate, and this is princess pig. Lavender Lily. Oh, look at them all here. 
Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jigs, maker of wonderful, marvellous pigs. They're all singing that little making song. She keeps on going, hasn't stopped yet. A striped pig named Dudley, a plaid pig named Sue. A family of Martian pigs, Beep, Bop and Boo. Ooh, can you see the Martian pigs? I think there's the Beep, Bop and Boo. Maybe there's another one as well. Hmm. Look at that. Well... She might still be sitting there sewing away, except Rachel and Peter came over to play. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Peter. Quick, come on in. Guess what I'm making, she said with a grin. Those are her friends who have come to play. Oh, look. <gasps> they couldn't believe it. Pigs, pigs galore were scattered all over the bed, the desk and the floor. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're thinking, what's happened? Jilly and Jilly and Jilly and Jake's your room really looks like it's lived in by pigs. Sure does. What do you think they did? Oh, look, they've got a trolley. They're going down the road. They gathered them up and they took them all out. They made up a sign and they marched all about. Jilly and Jilly and Jilly and Jigs, maker of wonderful, marvellous pigs. Ten cents a pig, not one penny more. They're waiting for you at Jillian's store. Oh, look, they're saying, come on out and buy a pig. Who's come? All the children heard and they've all come running out to the park. They came to buy pigs. They came by the dozen. Brothers and sisters, best friends and cousins. Ooh, look at them. But was Gillian happy? Mm, I wonder if she was happy. Oh, now here's a sad tale. How could she put all her pigs up for sale? Oh, she suddenly decided she didn't want to get rid of them. Can you see her face? She says, but I don't want to get rid of them now. Maybe I don't want to have a pig shop. Oh no, not Marlene. She's so cute and cuddly. And not my Clarissa or Rosie or Dudley. I can't give up Marvin. He'll miss his friend Thomas. I'll never sell him. I gave him my promise. Oh no, she's saying you can't actually have my pigs anymore. I have to keep them all. No, no, not McTavish. I can't let him go. And Blackberry Billy would miss me, you know. I can't sell poor Gregory. He has the flu. He should stay in bed for the next day or two. Oh goodness, so now she's thinking about all of her pigs... So she's gathering them all up. I simply can't do it. It's over. I'm through. Then all of a sudden, she knew what to do. Ooh, what do you think she's decided to do? <gasps> Listen. Step right up, friends. Have lots of fun. Sew your own pigs. Learn how it's done. We'll make hundreds and millions and zillions of pigs. Oh, look, she's teaching them all how to make their pigs. Said, wonderful, marvellous Gillian Jigs. Look at that. She is a clever girl. And look at this page. Shows you. How you can make your own little pig. Maybe one day you can try. Wouldn't that be fun? 
Well, that's a lovely little book, isn't it? So in the end, she's very happy because she kept all the little piggies that she made. And that was nice. But then she also taught the children how to make their own pigs. So I hope you enjoyed that book. Bye.